Former Nevada Senate leader Kelvin Atkinson is now paying the price. I've let myself and my family down. Admitting to using hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of campaign funds for personal use. Theft of any kind is unacceptable, but theft of campaign contributions from a sitting public official is particularly troubling. After a court hearing Monday, U.S. Attorney Nicholas Trutanich says this wire fraud scheme included paying off personal debt, leasing a luxury car, and even operating a business. This 16-page plea agreement details the work of state prosecutors and the FBI, reading in part that Atkinson was fully aware of what he was doing, telling donors he, quote, would use the donations for lawful campaign purposes, knowing that he would use donations for his own personal use. Investigators say this went on for almost eight years, between January of 2010 and December of 2017. The state finding Atkinson spent more than $100,000 to personal credit cards, paying off personal expenses, $75,000 to open and operate a Las Vegas bar and nightclub, $20,000 to lease a 2018 Jaguar SUV, and $8,600 to repay a personal loan. And that bar mentioned, what we have learned, it is the Urban Lounge right here on Charleston in downtown. And according to this document, his business license was set to expire in just a few months. Prosecutors say Atkinson paid a business consultant using campaign funds to obtain a business license. You can even see Atkinson pictured inside the Urban Lounge on their website. We also stopped by Atkinson's home in North Las Vegas today to speak with him following today's court appearance, but no one was home. In as part of his guilty plea, Atkinson has agreed to pay almost $250,000 in restitution, the same amount he admits using for personal reasons. Prosecutors will try to identify who the campaign donors are to get the money back to them. I accept full responsibility for my actions and cannot express the depth of my remorse. I am truly sorry. And whether or not those donors are able to get any of their money back, well, that is something to be uh, determined by those federal investigators. Meantime, Atkinson, he could face up to 20 years in prison. That's the maximum sentencing for wire fraud. His sentencing, that's scheduled for sometime in July. We're live in downtown Austin Carter, 13 Action News, elevating Las Vegas. Austin, thank you. Well, new at 6 